Hey guys, and welcome back to Juno New Origins. My name is Twitchy, and we are playing our automation only playthrough of this beautiful rocket launching game. There is, of course, a programming interface over here that we've been making pretty good use of, and we need to make a career mode work in that set of constraints. We've been doing some work for our good friend and buddy Buck Marshall here, and he wants us to try and make at least 100 kilometers away from the village. I think we can handle that. We've been launching from a little village launch pad in the middle of this planet called Drood, uh, and we have been trying to make our way slowly more and more around the corner of the world. I'm going to load a craft. This one has been the blasting off. We use this to make fireworks, but of course the sounding off is the one that we really want to uh, launch as far away as physically possible. You can see that it's got a nice little flight program here. Uh, it starts, does a little countdown, uh, turns its engines on, turns over, tries to keep the altitude going, and then when we are below two kilograms, we'll launch the a parachute. The parachute that I totally have connected onto the craft right now. I've got a couple of parachutes here and I think we can make use of them. Anybody else feel like they're a bit bit large for the rocket? Maybe a little bit large for the rocket? Uh, one thing I would like to do is to make this a mirror and then after that, can we just maybe shrink them down a little bit they, they just seem very very large just just far too large for the size of the rocket that we've got going okay beautiful now launching this rocket just as it is i believe well let, let's find out i do want to change the flight plan just a little bit and then we'll see how far this rocket can fly instead of waiting for 10 seconds what i actually want to do is wait until we are a certain distance away from the launch pad Okay, so we take off, we do the countdown, we turn our throttle on, we set our pitch to 85. When we're above three kilometers, we set to 45. And then we wait until we're coming back down when we turn our staging back on. Beautiful, let's get going. Let's see what we can do here. This craft has one or more issues. What issues? Too many stages assigned. Oh. Now this is this problem is one of technology. If we come over, go to the tech tree, I believe uh, we've got a little bit of a solution to here. As you can see, the tech tree is quite large, quite sprawling, quite amazing. But we've got a little tech tree here called Check Your Staging. We have three stages and an interstage. I think these are points that we need to make here. We see it consume 25 tech points there. And going back, we should now be able to just launch our craft. Beautiful. From the launch, going to cost us $179 to launch that craft. And this will launch straight away. We are immediately into the program the moment this loads. Okay, as we can see, five, four, three, two, one. It already thinks I'm 400 meters away from the... Why does it take so long for the engines to fire up? It already thinks that I'm 400 meters away from the village, as we can see, it is over there. And the uh, the number is going down before it's going up. That is very crazy. Wait, where did... Where does it think that the, uh, the, the, the control is? And also, that is... We're going the wrong way. We're going... We're going the other way to which I thought we would. I had a, I had a feeling we'd be going that way. There's a thing over there. It's a thing we've been looking for. Uh, parachutes did get staged. I heard them. But I think they've ripped. I, I think they may have torn. That was interesting. Not quite. Oh, that's not quite what we want. Bam, your Vizzy is programmed to run out of juice. I think we're going to retry that. We only made it 13 kilometers, and I feel like we could do a lot, lot better. A couple of changes to the program here. We've set a heading to 90 degrees so that we go in the direction that I expected to go, uh, and just kind of raised the uh, the pitch up a little bit after the first launch. And also, just in case, I think what I'm going to do is come down to this engine, and we're going to swap to a liquid because it gets a little gimbal range on there, and I'd like to gimbal. Look at the size of it. Oh, that is, that is crazy. Uh, I believe a 30% rocket will was more than enough for what we had. This is now going to cost us, uh, it's 25 grand for the engine, uh, 28 grand for the entire rocket. Is this going to be better? I feel like it should be a lot better. Two, one, take off, and then we should launch in this direction rather. Oh, well, we're, we're power sliding. We are power sliding. This wasn't expected. This wasn't expected at all. Uh, I just changed the pitch, and I didn't. I didn't mean to. Uh, that that should have been eighty-five. There, there. We do not have it. We we do not have it. Okay, that's that's a problem. If I come into the, uh, uh, is it mechanical engineer, novice managers? None of these are what I want. I think what I actually want is down at the RC enthusiast. Not because I want all of this, but because I want this. Control surfaces per wing. I need to get RC enthusiasts to do so, though. 30 points. I think I can do this. Let, let's do the bam. We'll get that. And then you over here. Okay, so we now have wings, which means we have control surfaces, which means I should be able to click on this and then come over here 
add a control to oh that is beautiful that is exactly exactly what i want uh, is that control surfaces to all of my craft looks like maybe all of my my wing surfaces this should help when we get to the top of the of the the launch here uh, and keep us pointing at the ah oh, there was there was another change i wanted to make wait 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 I wanted to lower this back down to two kilometers. Let, let's see what happens here. Save to craft. Let, let, let's let roll. Uh, I'm not expecting winners from here. I'm once again expecting uh, explosions. But we're, we're going to be following the tech company's way of breaking stuff quickly and figuring out how to fix that. We've got a revert, so nothing's actually going to end up costing us a lot of money. We can think of this just as, if you will, a simulation. The simulation that is uh, taking us up to new and grand heights. I'm noticing that the rocket isn't really moving us at that re at that greater rate. Uh, once again, there is no way of reading out any G-forces anywhere. I think maybe that is something that we need to uh, address. Maybe in the... What, what's going on here? Maybe something we could address in the uh, programming aspect. Maybe we could have the flight log output something to do with our G-forces. That would be particularly handy. Okay, we seem to be moving at a bit of a rate. It's not that great, though, if I'm to be honest with you. Hopefully now we can just keep pointing in this 45-degree angle. You can see the white is where we want to be pointing, and the green is where we are actually pointing. So if we get rid of that again, uh, are we going to make it? 100 kilometers away there's not a chance is there there's not a chance i think we might need a multi-stage rocket which would be great because that's the the kind of thing uh, that would be moving our programming skills onwards to greater and better things i really was expecting this to fly a lot better now May maybe up here is where we needed to have um, launched the the parachutes from oh it's got it's got a little bit of instability here i hope so anyway because uh, we need we need to try and pull ourselves out of uh, any sort of speed of sound scenario here so that we could save the rocket May maybe what we need to do is when our rocket is below a certain altitude because yeah look the the parachute's completely gone uh before we before we even got anywhere the parachute has gone so the obvious upgrade here is to change the width and the length. At the moment, we've got a four meter high rocket. So that's like two people stood on top of each other. Uh, and it's only like a meter wide. You, you could you could actually fit two people just in here. And then that, that would be it. That would be the entire rocket. And that is not really all that big, if you ask me. So I'm going to take some bits off of here. And then we're going to start mucking around with this. I think we're going to go to a half meter radius. Oh, this... This already is looking pretty chunky. Can we extend that a little bit and then we'll come out to, to like this? I, uh, we'll, we'll work on the form. We'll work on the form. There's bound to be uh, a better look for it. I also need to take the rocket off the bottom so that when we collect this... Uh, and I think we're going to go for... Oh, it, it's looking like a lot. Um, Trying try to keep an eye on the money because, of course, we are only only get given a certain amount for the contract if we come over and check that in the career uh i mean we're gonna win 100k but we only get given a, a 20k to begin with so we're spending over a quarter of the money we're spending over a third of the money at the moment on making a <laughs> rather large rocket Okay, so we scaled this up a little bit. We're now at 55k. I've also found in the part styles here uh, I, I really like this one so I, i'm gonna i'm gonna be firing up this rocket in this uh i've changed from the the sounding off to the sounding up let's save the craft here i'm not sure given the size of this rocket that it should should be worthy of the sounding designation but it's, it's a rather simple rocket right so we're just going to go with it like that i th also wondering whether whether we get more utility out of several small solid rockets rather than the the one large big one uh it uh, large liquid one sorry it would also save a lot of money Let, let's just have a look uh we've currently got a delta v of 2.2.3 kilometers okay so with just the one nozzle we get 2.3 which is the same as the liquid and then if we go and stick down uh three more uh we only lose a tiny amount and the starting to weight uh ratio goes up a lot i'm wondering whether that's fine maybe it gets us up and through the atmosphere quicker it does save us a lot of money we've gone from 50k to 17 i think that's worth the check 
You know what? Scrap all of that. There's only one way we're going to do better, and that is by having a payload at the top that can accelerate itself even faster. But to deal with this, we're going to have to deal with some sort of staging here. Uh, so th this this is no good. Th this this will never work. We need to make ourselves a new uh, a new system here, a system that will be watching for our fuel levels. Okay, so I'm just putting a little, little bit of logic together here. In between turning over to 45 degrees and waiting for our parachute to open, I want to get a little while loop, loop in there. And I want to know, while the fuel in my stage is... Oh, actually, I want to go above zero, don't I? Okay, while, my, while the fuel in my stage is above zero, please print the fuel in my stage so that that should be nice and easy. I can't remember what this true does. There was something I really needed to remember about the true and false. One of them overrides itself and one of them will just keep displaying a whole list of numbers. And obviously, I want to override it. Log messages to the flight log. If the second parameter is set to true, it will override the message. If it's false, it will write a new line every time. Okay, so we do indeed want to have true there. Uh, whereupon it will be done... It will be down to zero, uh, because it won't be greater than zero anymore when that is finished. And then we can activate a stage. And basically, we're just going to set up the exact same loop again. So we can watch the next stage of fuel go. Uh, that that should be fine. I'm not sure if... Actually, what I think what we want is to set craft pitch here to zero. And then we're looking directly sideways. Ooh, that's... That's a list of commands right there. But we... we, we we take off, we set out on our heading. When we get above two kilometers, we pitch over as hard as we can. Well, not quite as hard as we can, but pretty hard over. Uh, then we watch our fuel and stage and set, uh, set ourselves to look at the horizon whilst firing our throttle at full speed from the last stage up there. When that then runs out of fuel, we stage again. Again, which actually will activate my parachute, and I'm ha happy to, for that one to be that. Okay, I think that is our full mission now. Yes, maybe we could... You see how this is a repeated system? At some point, we'll come back and tidy this up and make it either a countdown, but I think what I'll actually do is make it a loop with a different system. When this flight goes well, I'll talk through this. Craft has one or more issues and cannot be launched. This command has too many stages. No, 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 we opened the stages. Okay, now with all that in place, there's actually something else I want to do. I'm going to just stop this for a moment, just so we don't run everything. Let's launch this and go have a look, because I need to know which way the water is. If I uh, zoom all the way out here... Now, I've been trying to go east, which is in the direction of that yellow marker on the floor there, but uh, I do believe the water is very far away in that direction. Whereas if I travel in a heading of roughly 300 degrees should we say 300 degrees i think a heading of 300 degrees uh, maybe 320 315 would be ideal and we head over in this direction we might actually be able to hit that lake so yeah let's try that so a heading of 315 that should be fine i, I kind of wanted to change the pitch earlier but that that that's fine maybe we could Oh, this this might not be the best way of doing it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try anyway. I'm gonna can, can we break those across? Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna try setting the directions first, so the rocket just really wants to go that way. Okay, let's get rolling. Let's get going. Uh, still calling this the sounding sounding up, but may, maybe we should give this a different name. If anybody has any decent naming conventions available to use, uh, do drop them in the comments. Always looking for more. Okay, are we actually going to start turning in the direction we want to be turning in? Uh, I sure do hope so uh, we're already going pretty fast though so maybe, maybe more control surface on the back might be uh, a winner there but we do appear to be headed in the direction we want to be headed in so that's pretty good I did not turn the throttle down at any point during this flight so we're probably going to have some exploding tail fins again that is unfortunate let's have a look at the flight log this is keeping track of the amount of fuel in our stage looks like it is a, is a function of 0 to 1 oh we're getting we're getting heat damage here. We are definitely getting heat damage. Nothing exploded, though. I'm not sure if I'm happy or sad about that. I mean, explosive dealing with space junk is probably the way forwards. I've also noticed that we're going to have another problem here. I have not put any control systems on this front stage. This this is interesting. Should I have done a hot stage? Should, should that have been me going faster? I... 
I'm very confused what's going on here. There, there's, there's no way that stage behind us should be doing this. Like, I, I am accelerating away, and it is causing me issues. <laughs> I don't. Okay, well, we're gonna we're gonna watch this. I don't think this is a um, a, a cannon flight anymore. But uh, yeah, that, that, we're, we're gonna we're gonna watch this one do what it does. Uh, what what is this? What even is this? I mean, roughly we're pointed in the right direction. R roughly. Well, we were. Now now not so much. I wonder what happened. Why did this get stuck so badly? Why did it get stuck so badly? Um, I mean, mostly all the vectors are pointing in that direction, so it's it's not going to be the worst flight we've ever had, but it's definitely not the winner here either. Let's try and uh, speed this up a little bit. I'm surprised, really, really, really surprised it's still holding on as well as it is. There must have been... Um, I mean, if we were playing a certain other game, I'd be saying we've been attacked by a certain mythical sea creature. Uh, but uh, we're, we're not playing that game, so we've had a glitch, I suppose, is the only way to do it. I mean, obviously what we're trying to do is recreate the feathering effect of the of Starship One from Virgin Galactic. It's uh it's it's the only way to get the right amount of drag on the re-entry. Uh, hopefully that'll help the parachutes work. <laughs> Ah, uh, you know, I think the parachutes <laughs> did help the parachutes work. Okay, that's that's kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. But I think we can say that this is not a winner of a flight. Um, and I and I know how to fix it. I think I, mostly. Okay, I, ju I just put a bunch of weight commands in. Sure, surely that will be fine. I also, uh, I thought I'd, I'd keep thinking that I have gyroscopes for some reason, and uh, I don't. So I've gone ahead and... Can we get rid of those arrows? That would be kind of cool. Uh, and I've gone ahead and put uh, some control surfaces on the top rocket. Because surely, surely that will help in our control. Oh, we're also going to call this the staging up. With the addition of the fins up top, it's also good to check my uh, center of mass and center of lift. Make sure the center of lift is down below the center of mass the whole way through. Uh, and it, it looks like it, so that's pretty good. Jump into post commentary for this one, because the missions are legitimately taking a little bit of time now. If I had let this one run in full speed, it would have taken 10 minutes, which is like half of the episode, so we're not going for that one. Takeoff went incredibly smooth. We are punching our way through the atmosphere we're about eight kilometers off the floor right now and we're starting to get a little bit of heat damage on the tail fins there that was unfortunate it did knock us a little bit off of line but because we have fins up front they were uh, uh, they are actual control surfaces and they managed to keep us pointed in the right direction staging went very clear and we were away thankfully we'd managed to not get all hooked up on the back of our boost stage there and now we are taking off with our top stage it is climbing Climbing a speed pretty quickly, but it's about this sort of time that I realized the scale of orbit in this game. Now, obviously, I come from another rocket game where everything is like 10 times less the size. Uh, and let me tell you, that order of magnitude really makes a lot of a difference. We barely have got going anywhere. Um, also got ourselves a little bit of an altitude record there. I think 80 kilometers might be above the atmosphere. Uh, indeed, if we watch the behavior of the craft, I think 75 kilometers is roughly the the limit of the atmosphere because you can see we are slowly drifting around and round a little bit more as we are in the vacuum of space and then 75 kilometers suddenly with something is giving us some sort of authority control of course the program at this point is still trying to point its nose up to about 40 50 degrees above the horizon so it is uh, really trying to pull itself out of a nosedive here which is very good very good in a deed uh, trying to look down and make sure that we are indeed over the coastline we are we are lined up for water which I'm, I'm very very happy about i was a little bit worried about the heating that appeared on our nose cone there i was worried that maybe we we're going to be exploding some stuff but thankfully the control of trying to pull our way out of the nosedive really helped uh 
keep that heat down to a, a, a significantly low level. Another problem that this game has is a game is a problem that this other game has that I'm used to playing. Uh, how, how to deal with being underneath parachutes? It's a long, long, boring mission. So thankfully, it lets me tell you about the people who make this mission possible. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names, a list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation in appreciation for the work that we put in here. It does take some considerable effort to make sure all of these videos get out and I, I really appreciate these people's backing and support. So from the very bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you so much. And I think we've achieved all the major milestones we wanted to. I see down here we've still got the fireworks mission, so I think I'm going to come through and I'm going to leave you with the sped up footage of me completing this particular set of qualifications, a uh, set of contracts, sorry. Uh, in the top left you can see the uh, the requirements that we need here. 12 kilometers off the floor, a certain amount of boom power, and of course being completed within the 30 days. I'm never going to struggle with this in the 30 days because I could just keep redoing all the things that it really asks of me until it actually works out fine but with that i would like to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure i will see you guys next time where we're going to jump off a big ramp and of course try and get out of the atmosphere because we've not done that one already i'll see you then when we're gonna do that bye